Welcome back to Ixion. My name is Nilaus and I am your administrator on board the Tycoon. And we are finding ourselves here with the, uh, along with the thrusters of the Etimananki. And uh, we have a lot of things to do. Before we uh, sort of jump into the action, first, thank you very much for your continued support of this series. It means a lot to me and it also uh, allows me to continue because it's nice to see that even though the views are, of course, not as much in the first as in the first one, there's still a dedicated audience who finds this interesting and so do I so I really want to continue with this now what we have here is that this this uh, cloud is gradually moving here so every time we complete an objective it'll move further over so that's gonna be a bit of a tricky thing we have it completed here our colonists also cried for help the reason they they've cried for help is because I, I've allowed a bit of time to pass between sessions and uh, in that time I've been doing a little bit of overhaul on my uh, my uh, recycling sector. We're going to come back to that one. And also what I really want to do in this... Oh, there's a notification. Uh, I want to take this out and make it into the same design that we had in the, in the build that I showed on my YouTube channel yesterday on the food process because I want to make this into the my, my optimal uh, food processing. There were a few questions in the previous video that I felt I addressed but apparently people keep uh, saying it uh, like why not use algae farms they're better well because they are not available at the time when you need this uh, so at this uh, sector you really need the cryopods so I will want to do this with uh, with the crop farms since we have those available. Uh, the second thing is about uh, why do I have two fusion stations or why do I intend to use two fusion stations is because I don't really want to spend upgrades on that. What I want to spend upgrades on is other things that are more interesting and what would that be? Well, let's see. Actually, I'd really like to get train stations because you know me, I like trains. So uh, let's get some trains on board. These trains will be helping us. Uh, they'll get a little bit of the stability and then they'll allow some other things to sort of work across sectors. That's going to be a bit more convenient later on. I'd also really like to get the upgrade for the alternate life so that we get more stability. Now, uh, the first thing we want to do is getting out here and starting these processes here. So, we have arrived at the clusters. Our sensors have located uh, a section of the Dmanaki drifting in space. First reports indicate that the resist wreckage was once the ship's engine room and reactors. We have arrived at the site. Only two of Etimananki's massive reactors remain. Initial reconnaissance revealed three places of interest. The thrusters, the engine room, and the engine supervision area. Investigate the thrusters. We're going to do all of them, so we might as well get started. Also, the repatriation of our, uh, our crew here. Uh, we have finished the colonization test of Croc P42. Colonization success rates on planets like P42 are estimated at 25.12%. Please authorize extraction preparation. Now, I don't think that's fair. Because 25.12% is a really good. If we were sort of the last vessel flying through space, then obviously taking 25% chance, sure, colonize four of these planets and then one of them will be a successful colony. We can't, you can't not take a 25% chance under our conditions. But, you know, uh, I this is going to, it's annoying because this will cause unrest and I can't afford that. So we'll have to repatriate them even though I don't want to. Uh, we will also know that we have to, uh, you know what, I'm actually going to call back my mining ships. Good. Mining ships are coming back. Don't want them anywhere out there. I can get some of the other ones, but not really anything else. Because in 1.6 cycles, this thing will progress and we will need to fly through the crowd over there. Oh, oh really? It has emerged that the concerning results of the earlier colonization test has been leaked. Lead, uh, leading many of the crew to believe that we are just delaying the hour humanity ends. Whoever released this information bears responsibility for the rise in dead earth sickness that has followed. Boo. All right. We have a lot of stuff in here that we need to do. We need to uh, start deconstructing. An accident has 19. In the tycoon. Damn. All right. We need to start deconstructing things. Oh, yeah. Um, Just in a second, I'll deconstruct you. Colonization. We don't need that. Um, okay, so here's another thing that I want to do. If we look all the way over here, we actually have a pretty good storage. But I am going to set up more storage as well. Like this. Uh, even more storage? This is very temporary. I uh, don't need that much storage, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, I won't need that much storage. There, and then I'm going to take one of these into 
food because this is where I have a lot of storage so I can just use this for food and that storage good then I'm going to start transferring all of my food into section 6 all of my allies into section 6 there we go um, because I need to make sure that I have uh, I have room for things here uh, we are going to start since I'm going to destroy this while having a stockpile like that we are going to go into here and implement policies of food restricted food and then just take the hit in every sector oh I could actually do it from in here we are simply restricting the food in every sector um yeah I have to do it this way a science yeah, team actually... has completed a task yeah we are gonna be uh, starving a little bit for a while so that's uh, that is just the way it is but we can take it on oh I could not take it on what why are they angry Tripod awakening oh crap I forgot that oh crap now they're all just neutral shit um, I like trains. I like this more. I like not being unhappy. Unpopular. Alright, this is a massive setback, this one. Uh, we, we, I forgot that. I forgot that it would take this long time. Oh no. Anyway, we can... Uh, if As soon as we do this, everything will come crashing down. So I need to figure out what I want to do with my crew here. Um, I think I should just call everything back before daring to click anything. There. All ships come back. Not going to do anything until we have all of those back home. Then I'm going to click here and then the storm will flood over us and we will leave this uh, location. We're going to have to be endure 15 turns of this. Uh, actually a lot less. Here, we will have another issue, and that is... I am going to take multiple of these. Uh, actually, that's not a good one. Um, this here. Come on, transfer to the other area. Why are we not transferring from this area? Uh, we should be transferring food. Yeah, you should be transferring. Transfer faster then. A science ship team has completed a task. Alright, so that's completed the task at this point. We'll do this one and then we should... Uh, Pushpakov could, should be coming back. The Atamanaki seem capable of achieving two, two different types of propulsion. And the interest system mode of propulsion has many similarities to Dora's EKP. Cross-referencing mission data reveals a number of matches to the encounter near Saturn during the Tycoon's initial test phase. Their inter-system propulsion cover many of the basic operations uh, of the Vol engine. Our team has noted the remains of numerous accreditation areas access to and knowledge of the propulsion modes seem to have been restricted, been strictly regulated. The two reactors are damaged at the same time as the last superstructure and our analysis has revealed traces of gluon particles. Interesting. Let's inspect the engine room and see what's there. Once you're back, then we will be uh, leaving uh, this part, I think. Every ship is safely home and we can now complete the colonization. The colonists have prepared for extraction. They are waiting for a cargo ship uh, retrieval. And here comes the spam. Yep, that is um, not good. Yay, we're positive again. Awesome. Now it is time for us to get out of this region and we will be flying straight through in here. 4.6 cycles and just as we know, I actually have enough to feed it or to keep the lights on during the cycle. That is amazing. Goodbye in Tamananki engine room. We uh, have no more interest in you. Well, we do have very much interest in you. Entering stellar storm. And in the meantime, this will uh, get stuck here. I will just mark all of these as now no longer being able to uh, be mined because uh, I don't want them to fly through when we get safely to the other side to fly through to this location. Accident has occurred in the tycoon. Whoops, that was not good. Uh, where? Section six. Oh, a giant explosion. Eh, that's fine. It's just an explosion. Nothing bad about that happened. Uh, let's take a look at food. Is being transferred here, please? More. Just get all the food in there. 
And alloys, just get all the alloys in there. I will transfer it back when, when needed. Oh, this is negative. Why? Food policy, waste policy. Uh, more than population starving. Oh, this blew up just as... Oh my god, that's so unlucky. That is so unlucky. Oh, the worst part is that it also loses all the food in there. All right. Well, in the meantime, uh, I'm trying to uh, to get all this out. Entering debris field. Oh, that means we are actually all the way through it even. Okay. And we also have completed this part. So let's have a look. The Tamananki engines are were not supported by a PA or even a basic AI. Instead, crew members were constantly monitoring, adjusting and repairing the engines. Uh, and thrusters. Their living conditions were extremely precarious, and it would seem many of them were either prisoners or rejects from the population on board the Etzemenanki. Traces of uh, writing were found uh, within the dormitory cells, referring to genetic conatus and Ashton guides. There are records of several serious breakdowns before the final explosion. Uh, crew members uh, would work waist deep in coolant, some dying while performing their task within the toxic substance. Those who refused were executed by the superiors. Lovely. And uh, execution, uh, the execution, now the supervisory area. And we're almost out of this area. That is great. I can continue to work on all of this and just uh, trying to establish things, uh, trying to delete all of these things uh, as, as we progress. All right, we have now completed the task over here for this one. Let's have a look. A new request awaits ah. your attention. The engine supervision area was mainly occupied by those of rank. Some had time to enter cryopods before the apparent depressurization of the area. Analysis of remaining computer infrastructure indicates that their directives were merciless towards the engine room workers. They treated them as expendable outcasts. There are traces throughout the entire supervisory district of hacking attempts. All ship computers dedicated to the uh, to the engines and reactors were compromised, preventing the Intermenanki from maneuvering and causing power failures throughout the superstructure. The Einstein's team was, um, uh, has managed to extract remnants of the computer protocols that were used to do this. These fragments of code point to an author, the BMS. Relevant data has been sent to the Tycoon's tech lab for more detailed analysis. And that's uh, got some more officers in cryopods. Eh, do we want those? Not really. Now, here's the problem. As even though this recedes, I can't really get any uh, any more crew because they are kind of stuck here and here. So I can't send them out to one of those locations. That means I need to, for example, take Mendeleev and then uh, decommission you, or not decommission you, but at least uh, retire you. And then ironically build a new one, Sanadu. Uh, we are also in the point of uh, getting a new probe up here and once we get the new probe we can actually start a setting these out again destroyed by a space weather event what so the mendeleev got destroyed because it oh i thought it would i didn't know it would all right it flew back it was stupid oh well um too bad mendeleev uh, that is how it goes right i need to re-establish this again uh, so we can get this up and running and so it's restored. I actually think I want to get these uh, here, but I don't want to get them for here. This will be dedicated, uh, and that's kind of how it is. So I'm happy with that. Uh, in the meantime, we're not doing very well on happiness, and the reason is, of course, Sector 6 is super unhappy. It's also doing extra hours now. Don't like that. Uh, there we go. No more extra hours for you. Uh, oh, 20 of 20. Really? And this is the one that's dragging us down. Minus two, minus 2.3, wow. Uh, it's the damn thing about the, the fact that they're, they're starving. Let's see. Acknowledged, we have received the data from the analysis, yes. And we also now need on our research tree, we are gonna go up here to the Piranesi, get that one. Is there anything we can do that will give us more happiness? I think there's something on the DLS. Um, Predictive modeling. Okay, so I can do this and then... Oh. Uh, okay, we'll do that afterwards. We don't really need that, do we? Oof. This is a bit rough. 2.3 is insane amounts of, uh, of that. But it should... Now, I need to make absolutely sure. Here, these are angry. And they're angry because they didn't get food. That's perfectly understandable. Now, the question is, do you have enough food for the next round? The answer to that is, it says 19 can feed 619. Good. So, they're good. 
and in 0.5 cycles they should stop being unhappy yeah minus 3.1 trust per cycle that's the one that's killing us if we just get that one solved then everyone thinks should be good uh, sector one is also kind of unhappy that's because they have this policy of uh, only opening uh, the, the workers that's kind of how it is all right uh, in the meantime we have uh, we're working on this we are working on over here and just trying to delete things and get other things uh, back online again we have the new science ship and we've started sending out a few probes so let's get our Sanadu science ship into the depressurized R&D district uh, there is it oh it's there science ship has arrived at its destination Right, our sensors have identified a part of the Etimananki uh, that drift the Necroc system. Initial readings show no thermal activity, power signatures, or identifiable signs of life. This is the crew of the Sanadu. This section of wreckage is massive. We believe it's the remains of a research and development district. The laboratories we've seen look virtually destroyed, but we did find an intact security room. A sign above the entryway reads on 8. To access the room, we'll need power from the Tycoon via the RTP. Uh, unfortunately, specific accreditation is also required to open the room's armored door. The neighboring residential area has residential area has collapsed, making the balance of this area unstable. We spotted some emergency cryopods within the debris, though it doesn't look like they've had enough time to full evacuation. We'll search the residential area first. We need to do both anyway. We still have the Einstein over here, which Our can't do anything on this. It's uh, it's. There. Okay, and we've completed some scans and now our ships are flying out. Look at that. We got some nice, good uh, locations. Onwards back into our overhaul here and just desperately trying to get this out of the way. All right, I think it's also time for us to build trains because uh, the trains here, they are they are really cool in, in uh, this game. I love the way that they're made. Uh, so we'll just do that. There we go. Uh, the trains will sort of be hovering above the on these lines and they will not be they will transferring people faster but not resources unfortunately there's another thing the for transferring that scale. um but uh, they will also help with with some effects will now reach to different zones none of the ones we have but only later on pledge to change sector food policy within 10 cycles no i'm not gonna do that sorry we are kind of out of food we have no food production so let's chill on that idea just a little bit there and you can see i want to get this out i need to get the 40 ice a into these two so i can remove it completed a task. Uh, i can also start taking this out and this out just to get more space for our inevitable work here uh, it's kind of annoying that these are not being taken out but that's really what i want i need this to be taken out so they will start building, they'll start working, they'll start doing all these things. What we also have is we now have the Dometic Quarter. That is really good quarters. Look at that. 51 versus uh, 52. Uh, 52 versus 91. Uh, they cost a little more. They cost quite a lot more. Uh, look, from 40 to 80, same uh, same footprint. But they also need a, um, a an electronic. And they do take the same amount of power. So that's really nice. All right, let's get some more working progress here. Oh, we did get this one. So let's uh, get the science collected and then see what we can learn from this location. Most of what remains of the residential area is just shapeless metal. Children appear to have been locked in housing structures while adults turn to improvised weapons to fight against the un unknown aggressor. Bodies that the team came across had either been crushed by debris or sliced by cutting laser. The team uh, did find some intact cryopods in, and also located a, the quarters of the techno supervisor for the area. Higher in rank, their dwellings was uh, of a much larger size and filled with unknown technologies. The security key has been recovered. Ah, we got the security key. Then we can research that. That means now we are going to be dragging in more and more uh, popsicles, and we don't really want to incur more negative negative uh, impacts we are here we are still doing workers first and we maintain happiness that is amazing cool all right this one is almost out yes it's out that means we can make our first demotic quarter here i don't get why this one is not being picked up this one should be out soon and this one will get out uh, very soon as well and then we can clear all of this area yay here we have the first demotic quarter coming in and we'll actually build two of those 
there, which will help us just take out some of the other stuff by sort of drawing all the resources we have into that location. Oh man, it's uh, it's a bit rough this part, but uh, we'll we'll get it. We'll get it. Eventually, we'll get it. Let's see. The laboratories were severely damaged by the Dismanaki's depressurization. Most equipment has been either been destroyed or is missing. The team found clear traces of laser cutting. Floors and walls have been ripped open. The R&D district was a secure area studying not only space-related phenomena but also technologies considered forbidden by the UN. Recovered research reports mentioned dollars, BMS, and ten dollars, BMS, and Ashton Guide's inventions. Invention being studied. Nice. And we have a lot of stuff here. All right, let's uh, be... And we can open the security room now because we have the techno something key. Uh, we need to make absolutely sure we do not go too high on this. And we already did. So it is time for us to disable that one. No more ships inbound. Thank you. <clears throat> we are already suffering a minus one. We don't want to suffer a more than that. And over on my location, it is time for... Oh, come on. That's so close. It's time for us to actually use this opportunity to build. Uh, we will now build our... Uh, reconstruct our science here. As soon as that one is done. Uh, I have to let it... So here's the thing. I was, I've always been wondering... Oh, always like... I've been wondering why this doesn't disappear. And that's because this one is actually still connected to it. If I delete the one of these paths... That one will revert back and then have to redo it. So it's only once it reaches the storage that it actually gets dis uh, deconstructed from this location. So that's why it sort of is left behind there. I'm just going to do this so I don't uh, accidentally... That one and that one. And then we can take these two out. All right, we are starting to rebuild our, <sighs> our part here. Um, but we only have one workshop, so we can only build one building at a time. And we really want this to complete so that we can build all the roads, so we can build uh, stuff in here. We do have a little bit of water to get it going, but they are starting to work very nicely. Uh, we can do some more deconstruction, I think. Well, we definitely can. Oops. Uh, we still don't have the trains, though. Uh, these need to be deconstructed because that's kind of going to be in the next thing in the way of our food production moving forward. Oh, this one doesn't need to be online. We don't need to spend resources on that just yet. Okay, this is actually pretty good right now. Uh, this is not working. This is not working. And we really need an extra workshop. This is what I said, that when you're building, you really need extra workshops. So I'm just going to smash down another workshop here. Uh, this is the bad location for it, isn't it? I want to take like this location that doesn't need it at all. Uh, this is just going to be a battery, so this is not important. And I'm going to do high priority for you to make sure that you go in first. And we can now make, finally, the first food farm. Let's get that up and running as fast as we possibly can. A science ship team has completed a task. There we go. Food team is, uh, team food is up and running. This one will be built, getting us another workshop. It means we can then get more stuff being built. At the same time, that is awesome. Uh, we can look at this. This means we can now build more of these uh, domotic uh, housing. That is excellent as well. But we want to keep this one going because this is what we want to build first. As soon as we have this one, we should have... Ah, man, it's starting to work now. Scattered files on the floor of the security room containing uh, contained warnings about the prohibitive nature of what was stored in the area beyond. Beha behind the further door... A long chamber was filled with occupied dollars cryopods. Numerous data disks full of scientific information were also discovered. These finds were, are incredibly valuable. On P8, we'll take that and leave the leave the wreck. Great. So we need to recover that and uh, let's have a look in research-wise. And uh, let's see. Oh no, it has to be brought back first. All right, onwards to the medical district. We have now arrived here. Preliminary analysis suggests that this section of Etimanaki's records contain the remains of a medical care district. We have arrived at the site. We estimate that two-thirds of the district is missing. Remnants of cooling pipes have generated a haze that hangs about the debris and hides the floating corpses of Etimanaki's crew. We have identified two viable areas of investigation, the ruins of the research facility and the area devoted to medical care. We'll take the medical care first. It's the first one in line, so we take that. In the meantime, we can just uh, catch up on this. This is looking very nice. We're slowly, slowly, slowly getting there and uh, making some progress. Uh, we should also now enable ice to be brought back in here so that we can now produce 
some uh, some more water for all of our farms. Oh, there's going to be good to have some farms uh, going again. Uh, we are just slowly moving over here, and now we'll, the, all of this area has to be cleaned up, which is a bit more tricky to, to clean up, but we'll get it eventually. We'll also need to take the DLS out, um, because that needs to go down here. So lots of things of just reorganizing this while we are researching science here, left and right. All right, we have found a new uh, the new request here. Among the items recovered from the ORN-8 security room was a prototype supercomputer based on PA architecture. It could be integrated into our tech lab, computer system, standard Stanford protocol. Uh, do discourage the use of, ext of externally sourced lab equipment. We will absolutely get it part of our, uh, our setup. Why? Well, because we get a new upgrade down here, which is better than anything else. It gives us minus 10% research cost. Thank you, I'll get that first. Then over here on the research, the Nihai pro crop protocol gives us extra waste uh, from crop farms. Amazing. And I definitely want to do that. Uh, up here by the DLS, we can't really get any more uh, any more upgrades for that. So we'll just have to figure out where we get. Oh wow, we have in we have issues with food now. Well, that shouldn't be. Uh, actually, we do have that, and that's probably because over here, this one is so greedy. So now I need this to be sort of pushing it back because that's the only way we have it. They are now neutral everywhere. That's not good. Team but this is good. Look at that. Um, even though this should be, this should be set up to be um, uh, food later on. Then I'm gonna do it. Uh, set it up for stockpile alloys now because that will help sort of get things in and out. Or all of these locations here that are marked for deconstruction need to be emptied and all this as well. So that's a lot of stuff that still needs to be done here. Somehow this is negative. It just boggles my mind why it's negative food waste storing more yeah okay floating outside yep okay um but how is that different from the rest of them why is this one happy you have plus oh living in mostly optimized quarters you do not live in mostly optimized quarters that's why mostly living in cell housing that should be fixed soon yeah okay well that should be fixed otherwise we'll just throw more people in here how many, what's our capacity here? For 640, yeah, so that means majority in here, is in here. Now we have more research to be done. What should we get? There are so many good things that we uh, we want to get and uh, only so many things to do. Mm, I think that we actually want to, oh, right here there's some good ones, like getting more science from exploration missions. Oh yeah, let's do that. Let's start working on some of these. Let's uh, get it move faster that's completely useless even move faster move faster again uh, that's gonna be which one is this this is designed this one requires oh, it doesn't require the one I just took okay so never mind okay let me see this one is gonna give us free science and it requires designed instruction for docking bay designed instruction for docking bay all right, we'll take that instead. And then after that, we can come back to the science ship and take this one. Design instruction, yeah, this one, yep. Let's have a look what we find in the medical district. The district is in ruins. The Sanado's team had to stop several times during the investigation to clear away debris. Violent clashes appear to have taken place across the district. It seems that even before the attack, the medical capacity of the Jemenanki was oversubscribed. Recovered data suggests that congestion within the ship's core care centers uh, worsened over time. The team was able to recover a number of intact emergency cryopods. A lot of those. Uh, and then we investigate the research facility. Uh, I want this to decrease here. Uh, this is getting close to decreasing. We're still running the cryo workers first, so we should be having a ton of workers uh, over here. Actually, I want these two. It's interesting we're not really getting enough uh, work, uh, enough waste over here, but we'll get that once we have a few more researchers. Uh, let's see, you are working on that. Where else? This one can generate research and crew quarters. Nihai protocol, that's what we want. We want to make sure that the, our people are generating more waste. It's weird, but we do.
Let's see what we find. The facility has constructed more... Uh, the, the facility ha has been constructed more resilient materials and alloys than the other parts of the ship. Most of the outer structure remains. A lot of the internal hardware does seem to have been laser cut and ripped out. Our team was able to extract some information from the few remaining data consoles. A sealed stasis box was discovered containing what can only be described as test subject. However, uh, having reviewed associated research reports, the team believed that the experiment used Ashton Guides technology and genetic material taken from shard leaves. Don't know what that is. Subject ZY6073, as named in the outside of the stasis box, appeared to have be alive but dormant. Mm -hmm. Uh, test subject CY6073 is a size of adult male and is currently dormant. Xanadu's team proposes transferring them to a cryopod and bringing them back on board the Tycoon for further study. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea. Yeah, that sound from a cryopod is not a good idea. That's not a good, good sign. Not a good sign. Damn. Look at that. We have our farms here. Amazing. I really need to get rid of these uh, polymers and I don't know how to do that. So that's kind of annoying because I, I keep, if I look at polymers here, uh, what if I do that one and then that thing? Shouldn't that work? Yes, it does work. Good. And then you can now go down here again to like 20. Uh, 20. And this one, uh, uh, 20. There we go. All right, it worked, and you don't need to be this one. You will now be waste, because we do need to claim the waste, and the waste will now need to be exported from here. Uh, that's going to be set to minimum. Great, so that we get rid of the waste here. Now I can also take you out. Uh, we don't need to be constructing as much. Let's kill that. Let's see what this uh, this test subject is all about. Showing no signs of lethargy. See why leap out onto the team as they opened the stasis bug following a drop in comms connection the team's vital signs began to change reviewing mission data eden postulates a form of assimilation has taken place zy appeared to have put on one of the team's suits and boarded the xanadu inputting flight path data suggests a planned return to the tycoon uh, uh, destroy the xanadu yeah we can we can probably endure it repatriate it okay we got the ship at least uh let's make sure that we yeah we lost a few people oops it happens a probe has completed its scan okay it seems like uh, we now have someone An arriving back again has occurred in the tycoon Makes sense uh the sanadu has docked with zy on board you must decide on what to do um use sterilization protocols to exterminate yes 15 signs. I'll take it, and I got my ship back again. So we can uh, just need to get some new people out, and it is ready to go. No one, none the wiser. We got a little smarter there. That was, um, hey, that was for research. We traded some some science people for some science. That's kind of how science works. Ooh, that's a good location. Can we get even more? Yeah, more greed. There we go. And we can also see that things have receded to the point where we can now go here. What about Einstein? Einstein can now go up to the next location. That is excellent. We looks like the storm has cleared. Wow, that is good. And what about in here? We want to make sure that we go, we get all of what we want in here to be done. That is good. Uh, the irony is that I need this one gone before I can. I need to remove the infirmary, but I don't dare remove the infirmary, especially with people in it, uh, until I actually have it built over there instead. And let's start working on some of the other stockpiles. There we go. We are now in a position where I don't think we need these stockpiles anymore. Uh, what else could we do we need here? I don't know if we, if there's any more. Uh, let's see. That one is going to be here. This one's going to be there. So this might actually be needed to switch to a... I don't know. We'll see. And I will now be making a infirmary. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Sounds good. Science ship, thank you. And we are finally here where we can get the last bits done. Uh, I'm just going to pause. Do that. There. 
there so that we get those marked correctly and we have oh man this is so nice and we even have upgraded everything here as well this is now done we have that and yeah this is now super happy because they are living in primarily in domotic quarters that means we can also start taking some of the other things out i want to take you out and bring it into this location uh, once this is out we can replace it uh, I'm going to keep this around for building all of this internal internal stuff. But it looks like we are finally at a point where this is ready. Oh, we are also uh, just continually getting a little bit too many in here. Uh, we have decreased it to a point where we do not no longer get a negative uh, impact. Oh, you know what? I've completely forgotten this episode. Oh my god, why have I not? I thought I was completely done with this. I am not at all done with this. We should have done this like ages ago. There we go. But on, on in other good news, look at the trains. They're so cool. Just transporting back and forth. They don't do anything at this point. But they're there. And that's that's a thing as well. And we have everything seems to be working here. I think it's time for us to... Eh, is it there? What's, oh, we have 700. Yeah. It's time for us to go back to our policies. So we can go policy here. This will go normal food. Yes. Sector 5, Sector 4, Sector 3, normal food. Sector 2, normal food. There's no reason for them to be starving. We will treat our people well, if we can. If not, then we won't. Uh, we have like Sector 1 and Sector 6 are kind of overfilled. What we need to do is start replacing the normal buildings with the, uh, with the domestic quarters. That's going to be kind of expensive, but it's definitely something that needs to be done as we uh, move forward. For example, here. I could just start from one end and just start tearing them up. Uh, this will give us a little bit of a deficit because we'll have un uh, we'll have some unhappy ones because they'll be homeless. Not actually enough to be homeless. It's just as long as it's less than 24, then they don't have any issues with it. We can also start transferring stuff like alloys out of here again because they don't really want this to be having more than, I don't know, 100 alloys or something. I don't know. 100 alloys seems good. No more than that. Uh, we can also we also need it for building these anyway. We have a new request, and I know what that request is. Oh, that's annoying! It wants us to turn these back on. Plans to turn on the cryonic center in sector one for thirty cycles. Ah, uh, well, I mean, this is kind of what we have to do, and that's. Uh, Let's see, and we have 39 cycles to turn it on, and that means we need more uh, housing everywhere. But the good news is, this one is already up to 900 something, so I can actually go to this location and go, Hey, Sector 3 can get up to 900. Sure, send them over there, and they'll be happy. In the meantime, we can see that we are making very good progress here. We got almost everything we want, and the only thing we have is is this one. We could also add, and then we get even more storage, or even more housing over here. Uh, we have uh, all the upgrades, so we can feed up to 1400 from one. And with this complete upgrade, and every upgrade here, it'll be just 1430. So, as long as we don't go above 1400, this is also a great place to store humans. And so we've reached a new and stable location. I am not going to be tapping out these locations because we are almost there. The habitation sector and the industrial zones wreckage will be interesting for us to look at next time, as well as going into these planets that we've now discovered that maybe for uh, interesting science or maybe some colonizations that we don't know. Uh, we also still have a lot of cryonic parts to open and we are going to be continue to work on that as part of that we are going to transition all of our buildings into these uh, beautiful glorious uh, domatic ones and uh, that's going to be taking a lot of uh, electronics so for us to get a lot of electronics we are going to need to have a lot of recycling going on here i will make a dedicated tutorial for a really efficient uh, recycling center soon uh, we also just wanted to just have here, this is the final location. The only thing that isn't there is the drone hub that will be coming later on. So now we have uh, we transitioned to using our design for our, uh, our farm sector. That means now for the rest of the game, we don't need to think about food because we have plenty of food available for 6,000 people. And we're not going to have 6,000 people in this, uh, in this ship. That uh, seems a bit overcrowded. 
So that's really nice. And then we have the recycling that we can... Uh, the industry sector is currently a complete mess. We're also going to need to open another sector. There's a ton of things, as well as find out um, what we're going to do about uh, about all the stuff here. So next episode, we have uh, we need to figure out all the stuff that happened to the Etimananki, as well as see if we can do some more colonization out here. Thank you very much, for everyone, for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you are, be sure to hit the like button. That helps me a lot. And also uh, leave some comments about things that I may be doing wrong or things you would, I don't understand why I do this. Uh, I'll be addressing them in the comments and then I'll be addressing it in future episodes as well. Of course, if you want to support the channel, then I do have a Patreon. Uh, and I very much appreciate all the people who are supporting the, on Patreon. It's kind of how I keep this thing running without uh, overflowing with ads everywhere and uh, integrations and sponsorships and all that crap. So thank you very much. Until next time, take care and stay effective.